All right, folks, <laughs> I had time to actually go a little bit deeper into, you know, the research around connecting the dots with this, the move that AMC CEO Adam Aaron just announced to the market because it doesn't make sense for a movie theater company to actually put $25 million into a gold silver mining company because these are two separate businesses. But when you look closer, you know, I'm going to share with you in this video actually when connecting the dots, you know, this is something that might be done on purpose in actually to prepare for the short squeeze because we have some underlying things happening behind the scenes that the market is not yet seeing. But when you are looking closely as an ape man, you cannot help but be very, very bullish. So please stick with me till the very end of this video. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. All right. Now, let's start with this. AMC disclosed this news today and the market saw this move as a bizarre move. It's weird. Why? Because there is no link between a movie theater operating business and a gold silver mining company. These are two separate, totally not opposite, but I mean, it, there is no direct link between the two. All right. This is what why the market is seeing this as a weird move. But in reality, when you look closer, um, it doesn't look as weird as it is because AMC is now using a $1.8 billion liquidity. Like they literally have this amount of money sitting on, on their hands. All right. And they, he mentioned on earnings of 2021, you know, a couple of months ago, I think it was Q2 or Q3 that this money was be to use, to be used on a smart and aggressive way in order to put AMC back to positive and profitable territory all right so this is definitely what he's doing but when you look closely Highcroft mining company was already looking for a ton of liquidity because remember this is a heavy infrastructure company in order to dig deeper into the ground to mine gold and silver you need heavy equipment so it costs a lot of cash but the returns are definitely very very amazing Remember, this is gold and silver, all right? So the $25 million they used definitely be used by Highcraft because these are companies, this is a company that is looking very similar to where AMC was a couple of months ago, all right? When there was no money coming in and they were literally drowning on the bills. So they kind of know what Highcraft might have been going on so far. So from this point forward, it makes sense. Now, when things start to get a little bit very interesting is this move was made literally, I mean, this move was literally similar to what GameStop CEO did literally last week. This was published on March 7. Beth and Beyond shares jump after GameStop chairman reveals a big stake and pushes for turnaround. So Bed Bath & Beyond has been taken the big stake by GameStop CEO. And one week after, Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC, is taking a similar move and stake into high, uh, high growth mining company. These two companies have something in common. I mean, all of these companies, AMC, GameStop, Bed Bath & Beyond, and Highcroft, what? Short interest is very, very high. Remember, for a short interest to be very high, it needs to be around 10%. So we are already double the amount or the levels that are considered to be very high. I'm not even going to talk about GameStop and AMC, all right? But Beth and Beyond is also on the exact same uh, 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 um, basket here. And when you look at the utilization rate, 100%, exactly as GameStop and AMC, all right? So when you look at this here, even if it makes sense from a business standpoint that, hey, we might heading into a recession or a stagflation or a WW3 war, not that it's going to happen, but it kind of makes sense from that point forward for a company to buy gold. But AMC did not buy gold. Because if it was really the point here to actually go and f buy something as a protection, as an insurance against World War III or a market crisis similar to what we had in 2008, it would make more sense for them to buy crypto, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Litecoin, Ethereum, because AMC is already accepting those as a form of payment. So there is something de definitely different here. And I think this is what it is. 
If you remember, AMC CEO said, I want to apologize to Jim Cramer and David Faber, uh, two extraordinary journalists, for canceling my CNBC interview with them today at the last minute. I'm excited about our investment into HYMC, but this, there has been so much volume in that stock today. Lawyers insisted I stay off air. It means as a CEO of a company, he MC, I mean, Adam Aaron has to be careful about what he says, what he does, and how he presents itself to the public, especially with moves he's been making so far representing the company. Remember, buying 22% of stake into HYMC is not a single simple move. It's a bold move, all right? So it will start crushing some hair and that's why he is remaining careful. The exact way he needs to remain careful about calling out the short sellers into AMC. But GameStop CEO actually um, is a little bit different. He's calling out short sellers on Twitter. Short sellers are the dumb stormtroopers of the investing galaxy. This was back on March 14. So definitely both of these guys know what is happening and what is going on with the stock price. But because there are CEOs and publicly, I mean, and, and public figures in investing, I mean, in, in the in Wall Street, they are kind of tight. So it makes sense from here that they will make some moves into other stocks that are heavily shorted as AMC and GameStop is because in the event of the highly, I mean, of the, the, the height of the short squeeze, both in GameStop and AMC, it will be a little bit killing the momentum if they were to sell the stocks of the company. Like it happened with AMC in 2021, all right? When AMC was still hovering around 25 to 30, then we had, you know, the news around issuing 500 million shares. It killed the momentum. So it's a bad thing to sell for the, for the, for the insiders, you know, for the company to sell shares in the midst of the squeeze. It makes sense. So what is smart about it is they are actually targeting other stocks that are heavily shorted as their own stocks. And by that, they are achieving two main goals. The first goal here is they are, as you can see, Citadel Advisors is actually shorting HYMC as well. So this might be a targeted, you know, AMC, HYMC institutional ownership. You can see Citadel has a put position, meaning they are short, and they also have a little bit of shares here, which is also the case on GameStop, I mean, on, 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 on AMC. So by doing that, they are targeting the shorts and they are also exposing, exposing the whole manipulation that has been going on both on GameStop and on AMC. So ultimately, it might be a play that will give more leads and proof to the DOJ investigation and the SEC investigation about what is happening here. But at the same time, this investment, once it pays off, right? Once it pays off, well, it will mean, well, they will have a lot more money on top of the money they invested in order to pay off debt. Because remember, this has been one of the short thesis, big illustration, big reason why they went into short selling AMC stock because of the debt. So once the proceeds of these investments, which may not come literally next week or next month, but given, given what we're happening now with the short thesis being destroyed day after day, literally it means that when it happens, because it's not a matter of if the short sellers get squeezed out of the short sellers. When it happens, it's going to be much more easier for both GameStop and AMC as a company to raise a lot of cash in order to destroy completely anything that short sellers might be using as a rational to be shorted on the stock. All right. So to finish this, well, I'm not sure you heard about this, but Saudi Arabia considers accepting Huan instead of dollars for Chinese oil sales. This means the US dollar will definitely go back down. The US dollar will lose its value because the way oil business is conducted now is pretty much everybody is buying oil and it's paying in US dollars. But with what is happening between Russia and Ukraine as a way for Russia to 
go around the sanctions they are looking at Saudi Arabia. So if Saudi Arabia is already considering accepting anything outside of US dollars, it doesn't look good for the value of the US dollar and for the US economy. So again, this might definitely be one of the reasons why on top of targeting the short sellers, they are actually making a big investments on why it makes sense to be buying that company. So maybe I may be wrong here because at this point, this might be total speculation from my end, but I think it holds its whole value, the whole basis I just mentioned. So let me know in the comment section what you think, guys, um, and we'll see.